All right, hello, and today for our beginner After Effects tutorial, we're going to learn uh, color correcting in After Effects. I'm going to show you the two ways, uh, the two plugins that I usually use to do that. Um, so let's just get started. Uh, two plugins that we're going to use right off the bat. Come down, drop your effects drop box, come to color correction. We're going to throw curves in there. Come back to effect. And, oh, sorry. Color correction, lost myself. Then come down to Tritone, and we're going to use these two plugins. These are the ones that I find, you know, they work best for me in terms of uh, when I try to change or correct to get something back to the color that I want it to be. But uh, yeah, I'll just show you how they work. So let's get rid of Tritone real quick. Press delete. Uh, so here's my image. Uh, it's pretty brown, orange, red, very warm. And my goal here is I'm just going to try and make it a little, well not a little, but I'm going to try to change it to the point where it's not so orange. Because right now it's giving a very warm, uh, nice kind of feeling. And uh, let's just say for example sake, I don't want that. So we'll bring back Tritone. So if you notice when you drop it on here, Tritone has highlights, midtones, and shadows. Basically what it's doing is it's taking these colors that are already pre-selected when you drop Tritone in there. And it's taking the highlights, you know, the whites, the very bright colors. Uh, trying try to make them white still. The midtones is taking them to brown uh, shadows. Shadows are still black. And let's say I'm going to try and make this less warm. So, first thing I'm going to do, take the midtones, come over to a blue, because blue would be the opposite of red. Try to give it more of a blue tone overall. Then, shadows, I'm going to make it. A dark blue so right there is good now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click or come to blend with original and just start scaling that up Oops. all right there we go now it's looking a lot less orange so if I minimize that and just delete it you'll see that the difference is pretty big um, it's looking a little desaturated now because the uh, darks are not as hard as they were. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to curves now. I'm going to leave Triton alone and see, come to the RGB, the overall, and just come down to the shadows and bring those down, make it a little harder, and come over to the lights, the highlights, and boost that up. So now it's a little more sharp and a little more contrasted and I like that because it does look a little desaturated now but it does have the hard shadow lines well not hard shadow lines but it's definitely more contrasted now I'm going to come to reds see if I can get rid of the red tone of it there we go that's looking a lot more towards what I'm aiming come over to the blues this might be a little more difficult bump the blues up just slightly overall like that. That looks pretty good. Come over to the greens, maybe. So I punch the greens up. Ooh, interesting. Kind of like the way this looks, and this actually, uh, I mean, it definitely doesn't look as warm now. This is giving me kind of a little bit. It seems maybe just off the first glance, it looks a little more creepy to me. Uh, that's just my opinion. But if I come over here, minimize this, and just get rid of. Try tones and curves. You see that it's incredibly more warm, and yeah, like I, for what the shot was intended for in the original project, it looks good, and I like it. But say that's not what we're going for, and there's way too much orange in there. If we put tritone and curves in there, like we have it, kind of changes the feel of it completely. Um, I like the way this looks. I mean, obviously you can do a few more things to it, give it full quality, just so you get the feeling. Um, But yeah, uh, I think this looks, you know, for an example, just this is pretty good. So very quick, very simple, uh, just try tone and curves. They're two very simple plugins in my opinion. Just kind of play with them, fiddle around, and you'll see what works for you. But yeah, uh, I'll play this out just so you can see it's not an image. Yep. So that's all for this tutorial. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, obviously leave it, send me a question, comment, anything. If you have any questions about it, if it's not working for you, just let me know. 
Um, all right. Thanks. Bye.